třeba Phil Kocena. What is up guys? My name is Chao de la Cruz and welcome to a brand new Phil Kocha series, Trippings. I am so excited to try out some food and drinks from a place called MAD sa may matahimik corner Malamig Street in Quezon City. Ayan no? Tirik na tirik yung araw, pakainip at nakajakit pa ako. But that's not a problem because ng tanong, paano tayo pupunta doon? Well, I'm glad I asked. Dahil ang idadrive natin today ay ang Honda Brio RS. Ready na kayo? Tura. Alright, so we are on the way to Mad Cafe. Actually, I'm so excited to try their coffee. Uh, I heard na marami silang types of coffee there. My drip coffee, you know, the normal brewed coffee. So, uh, we're excited to see the concoctions that they have there, no? Also, uh, I heard na marami rin silang masarap na food. So, they have pasta, sandwiches, even risottos. Galing! So, yun, titikman natin yan mamaya. But, you know what? Driving there is such a breeze. Actually, natutuwa ako dito sa Prio kasi ang gaan ng manibela niya. Just uh, go to different lanes. Nakakatuwa, no? And uh, no effort whatsoever. Yung pedal din, magaan. Uh, some cars kasi kapag uh, kailangan mong umarangkada, eh dapat mabigat yung pag-press uh, mo ng gas. So ngayon, ito, very easy din, no? Hindi kailangan talaga na uh, puwersahin. So ibig sabihin, hindi ka mga ngalay even on long drives. Um, what I also like about the interior of this car no, is the fact na sobrang sporty look, very professional looking, hindi siya pa cute, so, which is something that I really really like. Um, as you can see here din, no, na marami din siyang mga compartments. So you have one compartment here, so if you want to put your wallet there, your phone, pwede pwede. You also have one here behind the cup holders. Meron ka rin dito sa may driver's seat. Ayan, so kung walain kayo ng mga parking uh, cards, nako, perfect na perfect yan para sa inyo. So, kukunin nyo na lang dito pag magbabayad na kayo, no? O marami din siyang cup holders. So, ibig sabihin, pwede nyo lagyan ng uh, tumbler nyo dito, alcohol, a bottle of alcohol. It's good to be ready with a bottle of alcohol, especially ngayon na pandemic, di ba? And you also have one here at the back para naman sa mga passengers nyo dyan sa likod. But yeah, I'm loving this car. It's compact, so easy talaga na yun nga, lumipat-lipat ng mga lanes. Uh, madali din siyang, uh, syempre, paskut-sikutin, di ba? Especially pag traffic, no? Pag nagmamadali at least, di ba? Carefully, you can uh, go around, di ba? So, this is perfect. And in terms of fuel efficiency, eh, in fairness, talagang tipid to sa gas, no? Kasi, imagine nyo, if you are driving this in the city, you can uh, get up to 8 kilometers for 1 liter. And kung plan naman yung mga occasional long drives natin, nako perfect to because 21 kilometers naman to for 1 liter. So, tipid na tipid talaga. You know what I like about the Honda Brio RS as well is the fact na malakas yung aircon niya, no? So, especially ngayon din sa Pilipinas, it's either sobrang lakas ang ulan o sobrang tirik ng araw, sobrang init. So, kailangan mo na aircon talaga na malakas na kayo lumaban doon. And uh, the Honda Brio RS is has that perfect aircon talaga ng malamig. Um, I also appreciate that it has a digital screen. So, alam mo yun, talaga sumasabay siya with the times. Uh, maganda yung stylish yung uh, itsura niya. No? And it also has some physical buttons which I really appreciate as well. So, when you're driving, no, uh, you don't have to look at it. Di mo kailangan hanapin yung uh, tamang buttons for the adjustment. No? So, it has that and it's great. Um, what I don't like though is the entertainment system, the monitor, dahil, although it is uh, very classy, it looks stylish, no? Up to date then because it's a uh, widescreen touchscreen, um, I don't like that it doesn't have buttons kasi kapag nagda-drive ka, mahirap yun, eh. You have to look at it pa para malaman kung ano pinipindot mo. And that's dangerous, di ba? You want to focus on the road. So, that's something that I dislike. But, meron naman silang buttons dito sa steering wheel. So, you can adjust the volume and the channel as well. And even the mode, no? So, Kung driver ka, at least may konting help sa'yo dito. So I guess problema na yun ng passenger kung paano niya adjust yung monitor. But at least hindi siya yung nagda-drive. Mm -hmm. 
Ayan, so nandito na tayo sa MAD. I am so excited to taste everything that they have to offer. At mukhang palpitation galore din to guys. So, maghahanda na ako. But alam nyo, from the aesthetic pa lang outside, alam mo na it's gonna be a really good time. So, let's go! Thank you for it. Ayan, I've got my Vietnamese coffee here. <laughs> Alam nyo, looking at the brio pa lang outside, it really looks nice. I mean, looking at its exterior, diba? It's not too sporty and not too cute. So it's right smack in the middle, no? So you get that classy look, pretty professional, diba? And at the same time, diba, um, hindi rin siya ganun ka-intimidating. So it's a really, really nice car um, when it comes to its exterior. But what it falls short on is the fact that it doesn't have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Na I think most of the new cars that are being released nowadays have that, no? And also, ito pa, very important, wala man lang rear sensor. But overall, it's still a pretty good car. I mean, diba, it really, really looks good. I mean, sa lahat ng mga kalinya niya, siya talaga yung pinaka-pogi. And at the same time, the storage at the back is pretty ample as well. So if you're thinking about road trips, you know, or even a trip to the grocery, pwede ka na mag- uh, Hakot talaga and cash and cash sa likod. So, yeah, you have it all naman in uh, the Brio, just not everything. Patri yung coffee, sarap. Alright, now we have uh, the owner, the face then of Mad Cafe. We got Sia in here. Sia, thank you so much for having us here. Hello, good morning. And uh, honestly, just to start, no, I really like the aesthetic that you're going here. It's really nice, very homey. Um, but can you give us like a, a story, a backstory as to how this all came about? Well, uh, technically for Mad, uh, we started as an NGO, a non-government organization. Mm. So um, we are a farmers organization where we cater for the Philippine Coffee Roadmap, uh, gusto namin i-showcase lahat ng coffee that is on the side Mindanao. And everything is direct from farms, uh, from they roast their own. Yeah. The same thing, farm blended, farm roasted. And at the same time, gusto namin pakita for our food on how we would want to serve the different types of food with the twist. Uh, for the cafe, well, we wanted to have a spot na community cafe. Yeah. From Bayan, so it's cakey cake. Ah, and I actually get that vibe here. Eh. When mm. I just first came in, talagang yun yung naramdam ako. Very homey, a very community tambay. feel niya. Yes, yes, exactly yung hindi mo papansin na oras na pala yung tinambay mo dito, no, with your friends. Pag kailangan mo ng spot na matahimik, oh. in Matahimik Street. Yun talaga. That's it. But also, I want to find out like how your mind worked when you were creating the menu as well as of course the drinks. I mean, some kasi di ba, parang may process yan eh. For you ba, was it the food first then the, the coffee or was it the coffee first and then you thought of what to offer as food? Well, for the cafe, uh, it started with coffee talaga. So we wanted to showcase more of the Philippine coffee itself. Yeah. Um, that there's different flavors, different profile, yeah. at the same time, um, different experiences. Yeah. But for the food, uh, we have a partner, a kitchen partner, which is uh, Josh. Mm -hmm. I would introduce you later. But it is a combination of pairing. So what is good in a sense, na parang gusto namin matikman ng kape. Yeah. And you'll have a good feeling after the food. Galing. It's so, like an art know? form, no? It's more of a house where yeah. you can go at the same time. Pag nagpunta ka dito, you can be your own. At the yeah. same time, you know, you can just sit down, chill, kape kwento ka. When I saw your map, kasi kung makikita niyo guys, eh, yung map nila, it has different uh, you know, notes of different parts of the Philippines. Um, I assume that that's the, the beans that you mm. have, the coffee that you have. So, how do you offer the right coffee to your consumers? I mean, sa dami yan, for sure na kalito. Currently, um, for the Philippine Coffee Roadmap, we have 32 partner farms as a month. Wow! So, everything is farm blended or farm roasted. So, yeah. that means it is prepared and at the same time it is blended within the farm. Yeah. So, it is the same way on how uh, it was done since before. Yeah. And then, another part is for us, if you would notice the bar, everything is manual growing. 
Yeah. Oh, nga. So we wanted to make sure that we serve at least the same general taste. Kung paano siya sinerve sa amin in that province or in that uh, location. But yeah, on how we serve coffee, one, there's no such thing as best coffee. Mm. Coffee is actually preferential. Yeah. So it's preference. So yeah. it depends. You want it hot? You want it cold? You want it fruity? You want it dark? You want it light? You want it medium? There is no such thing na pag sinabi sa'yo, this is the best coffee. No. Yeah. Run away. <laughs> Very subjective kasi yes. talaga ang coffee. No? So it depends on the person and it depends on what you need from the coffee itself. Do yeah. you want the caffeine? Do you want the flavor? Do yeah. you want uh, the experience of the high of <laughs> yeah. palpitation and all? So, for us, we ask. We always ask. Yeah. And then we will provide. Great. For the coffee itself, um, it is a non-ending cycle because 90% of our provinces can actually produce coffee. We were the fourth largest coffee producer in the world. Ah. Before. Before. The yes. Okay. Now it is 116. But uh, in terms of coffee, there is a lot of opportunities and at the same time, a lot of different ways where you can explore it. Yeah. The first thing that we always tell is the economy. And then we'll find out. Yeah. That's beautiful. And then honestly, getting it because it is subjective, no, you really have to find that taste that you want, that you prefer, no? So they keep going back mm. to it, diba? Because imagine mo, you go and taste different different coffees. Yeah. Just in the bar. Yun nga eh. That's what I'm so amused about mm-hmm. is the fact that you guys have different uh, types of coffee, different uh, you know a wide array of coffee for everyone talaga who have like this distinct taste in mind. Pero you know, as Sian, was it ever your plan to put up a cafe? Uh, honestly, the whole dream of the cafe in Manhattan is actually with my partner, which is Adi. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's also my partner in life. At yeah. the same time, she's the boss. But, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> tawa, <Words>. tawa, tawa. <laughs> but, she's Patangganya by birth. Mm. Born and bred. So, yeah, I'm saying, oh, five years old pa lang ako. Uminom na ako ng brako. Cafe. Yes. Uh, uh. Uh, for me, when I met her, uh, it opened a lot of avenues in terms of exploring coffee. Because yeah. even me personally, na para, huh? May kape pa lang lasang pinapay. May kape pa lang lasang putas. May kape yeah. pa lang lasang cacao. May kape pa lang everything. Yeah. It, it, it opened a lot of exploratory flavors. Yes. At the same time, that flavor or those flavors are actually natural. Because with coffee, when you plant coffee, it yeah. absorbs everything and anything in its radius. We are an agricultural country. Yeah. Different provinces, different region has different fruits, vegetables, flowers, plants. Mm-hmm. And kapag tinanim mo siya, it produces a different profile for those coffee. And that is why Philippine coffee can actually be a bar. These are knowledge that you just don't pick up anywhere. I mean, if you want to pick up a book, okay. But sure. ito yung mga talagang golden, di ba? Yung mga uh, malalaman mo lang if you really get to meet someone who knows his coffee, you know, and really did his research. And we're so excited to also try the food that you have here. It's a widespread, so we'll try it all, mm-hmm. siyempre. And now it is time to meet the man behind the dishes. We got Chef Jash here. Hi. <laughs> so, nagita ko very scrumptious yung yung nila. Let's go through all of them one by one. So, let's start with this one. Alright, so this is the Spanish sardine pesto. Uh, we get the Spanish sardines from a cooperative in Davao. So, we like uh, taking standards and then mixing them in with Filipino stuff to add our own uh, twist on it. So, kung Spanish uh, sardines, ibig sabihin may konting spice to. Yes. No? Here we go. That's good. That's really good. Now, I'm not a big fan of pesto. Kasi yung iba kasi talaga lasang gulay. Uh-oh. <laughs> but this one, it's a good mix. I love the pesto and the Spanish sardines mix here. Mmm. Ako ko boost yun, baka mabustod ako. Okay, this is really good. Like that's gas. Well, let's move on to the next pasta that we have here. Alright, so this is a uh, kini in carbonara. So it's done traditionally, walang cream. Oh, so just okay. use um, eggs and heat. <laughs> so gamit yung kini ing, it's um, smoked black pork from Cordillera. Uh-huh. So, sarap siya, parang bacon but better. Mmm. 
Ako ito, ito talaga favorite ko. Carbonara talaga. Pero bago ko kainin ito, may message ko ba sa mga cream users ng uh, carbonara? Wala namang mali sa pinagagawa niyo. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, so okay ito eh. <laughs> Pero wag daw. Okay, let's try it out. That's good. That's really good. It's still creamy, you know, even if wala mm. siyang cream. Galing. And the bacon adds a little bit of like yung uh, alat yeah. natin. Wow. Ingit na ingit yung mga nasa likod ng camera. <laughs> okay, now let's move on to this one. That's here. Uh, simple stuff. This is um, grilled cheese. So three cheese uh, just made normally. Ito bang sa labas? Do you, do you um, pan fried in butter? Yung ba yung, yung tawag yeah. doon? Uh, uh -huh. Sear it in butter, tapos doon na rin melt in cheese. So grill na grill siya. Ilang types of cheese is to? Three. Three. So, do you want to disclose like what the cheeses are? Uh, yeah, I mean, you have mozzarella and cheddar, and then there's the other one that depends on the farm. Okay, so yeah, let's try it out. Ta-da! <laughs> Honestly, ito yung mga gusto mo sa umaga. Uh -oh. After... Um, you know, if you, if you have like a really uh, long night of drinking, you know, mm -hmm. this is like really good hangover food. But honestly, even breakfast, this is really good. Weirdly enough, it goes really well with the hot chocolate. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow, you can expect it, huh? Bro, set up. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's really, really good. And yung, yung cheeses, they, they blend they together very well. Yeah. You no, know, walang overpowering the cheeses. It's mm -hmm. really good. Okay, last na yan. Dito muna tayo sa mga... Okay. Ah, kanin natin. Ito. Okay. Uh, that's the tapa risotto. Risotto? Yeah. Um, Nag-start kasi yan with a joke. Kasi at that time, uso si Vico Soto. So sabi ko, oh gusto gumawa ng dish, Vico Risotto. <laughs> yun lang siya. <laughs> so random. At so random. Uh, okay, so bakit naman tapa um, risotto? It's a, it's a Filipino staple. I mean, yeah. pero hindi kasi yung lumaki na sinangag sa tapa. And I wanted to do something different. So, ah. Eh, sabi ko yung risotto, para lang siyang sinagig na lugaw. Ayun, may kasama siyang pickled ginger. Oh. Uh, Pero kasi diba, uh, from what I know, risotto has to be a little bit creamy also. Yeah. So, do I expect that here from your risotto also? Um, it is a bit creamy. Okay. I mean, it's it doesn't have, um, it's not as rich as traditional risotto, mm -hmm. but it's a very Filipinized version. Oh, wow. I like the pickled ginger. It adds so much flavor. Mm -hmm. And because it's tapa, it's nice to have a suka. But it's not necessary eh, because uh, the pickled ginger it adds that acidity to the dish. I really love it. Parap. And it's not that creamy. Yeah. Na overwhelming siya. Oh man, this is so good. Thank You're you. onto something <laughs> here. All right, so. I heard this is not the only risotto dish that you have. Uh, you the have other one is the best seller most of the time. So we make the bagnet in house. Wow. Yeah. So we um, it's boiled, aged, and then made into bagnet. Kaling. How do you how do you think about all of these dishes? Ato joke. Alam mo gets ko joke to pero the fact na inalaw mo siya ng tapay na naman ng bagnet. Ano yun randomly? It's it's a mix of mero alam mo yung panlasa pinoy kahit ako magamit ka ng teknik na hindi pinoy. Yeah. So it just fits somehow. How much sarap siya with the egg? Yeah. Sarap. Sarap. Ayan na. Problem sa Very Pinoy. Uh, Alam mo yun? Elevated risotto, definitely. Again, I've tasted a lot of risotto. But this one is the best I've tasted. Not even kidding. Thank no you. joke. So good. I mean, sobrang sarap. And again, it's unlike me combos. The, the top and the risotto with the egg. And then you have the bagnet with the egg and the risotto. It's like... Ang galing. Ang galing. So, okay, after all of these, let's move on to uh, the last one, the, the last plate. What right. is um, so these there? two are the three cheese bomb. Uh, they mm -hmm. come from our partner, Baker. Okay. And the Basque burnt cheesecake. Cheesecake? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are these like the same pastries that you offer day in, day out? Or do you guys mix it up somehow? Um, they're here every day. Okay. Um, although there's some stuff that we throw in for a week or two long. This one is? Uh, this is three cheese bomb. Three cheese bomb. Three cheese garlic bomb, my bad. So, meron ba dito ang pagkain na hindi ganyan kasarap? Kasi sobrang wild na itong sarap na ito. Not even kidding. And again, Three cheeses. I don't even taste one that's a nut. Na lumala mong it. Not the syrup and, ma'am, the garlic. It's so perfect. 
you have the mix of that garlic bread but also the cheese. Yeah. So it's really it's really good. Mm. Okay. This one is? Uh that's a spicy version. So I should just expect a little bit of a kick here. Pretty much. Okay. Definitely this is good as well. And this one is the burnt cheesecake. Burnt bath cheesecake, yeah. Let's open it up. Oh look at that. Wow. You have something going on here, Chef. So brand set up And I, I do believe that it's perfect with the drink that you offer here as well. It is super good and it goes well with the coffee that I ordered, the Vietnamese coffee. Um, do you have other food in mind that you're still cooking up for all of your uh, customers? Uh, we have the, the pancakes to place and uh, a take on migoreng. Wow. So that's the merienda menu we have. Ayan, so kung gusto nyo ng masarap na pagkain, meron na rin sila dito. So you don't have to go anywhere else but here in Mad Manila. Alright, so see and please invite all of our viewers to check out your place. Uh, thank you. Um, if you need a spot in Matahimik, in Matahimik Street, at the same time, if you need a spot to chill, kape, kwento, kain, come visit us in 118 Matahimik, Features Village. Uh, we are open from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Go here, uh, try to explore, and at least experience uh, Philippine coffee from our cafe. But what we want to do is to give it to the people na try it at least. Subukan mo muna, tikman mo. And then let's try to find your cup. I love that. Let's try to find your cup. Ganda. But yeah, you know, it's really nice to uh, discover a business that isn't just a business, you know, that isn't just about money making. But it's also it also holds an advocacy in its heart, no? and see, and it's it's really nice that you are putting Philippine coffee in the map, you know, with your business, no. And you know what? Hindi ko naman mahanap tong Mad Manila kung hindi ko tala yung ating Honda Brio RS, no. So parang salamat sempre for the Honda Brio for bringing me here. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to visit Mad Manila, you should because you want good coffee, good company, and Mina. Good company. Good company, definitely. At matagine. So this is the place for you. For sure, we're going to do this. So if you guys want to visit Mad Cafe, you can go here to Matahimik Corner, Malamig Street in Quezon City. Definitely, the food is great. The drinks are great. So if you guys want to have a good time with your friends or if you want to go to Magisa, then this is the place for you. But as for me, I got to head out of here. Let's go. That was a pretty good meal. Maraming salamat sa Mad for having us there. Pero alam nyo, napag-isip-isip ko lang. Do we really need the toys? I mean, get, sige, wala siyang Android or Apple connectivity sa kanyang monitor. Pero makakabili ka naman ng ganyan sa ano, eh, automotive shops. Eh. I mean, you can get a good monitor and have it installed there. Um, also, wala rin siyang rear sensor or rear camera. Pero maliit siyang kotse. So, hindi naman ganun kahirap i-park ito. And also, for its price point, diba? maganda na siya fuel efficient and at the same time madaling i-drive. So that's something that you guys should consider. Alam nyo, while driving the Brio, makakalimutan mo na talaga yung uh, mga wala siya. And honestly, for the price point, it's solid na talaga to. So if you're looking for a best handling car for the city, as well as yung fuel efficient and also a eh, uh, poging pogi rin naman, then this may be the car for you. That is it. My name is Charles De La Cruz, and we'll see you guys again on the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. For the latest news, reviews, and anything you want to know about cars and car ownership, visit philcoche.com. Follow us on YouTube. Facebook, Instagram, and Spotify para hindi ka huli sa usapan. Tandaan, kotse ba? Feel kotse na!